Goku has a mean approach. His defeat most of the time is inevitable, meaning that he has already lost before the beginning of his battle. Already knocked out before the first punch is thrown. Already knocked down before ever flying to victory. Well, the losses are all on paper. Opponents are always mightier and sometimes scarier on paper. Insufficient power levels that don't register when all is given. What is defeat to someone that never gives up? It doesn't matter if Goku's opponent is stronger, faster, fatter, badder, longer. Goku's hunger and drive and passion makes him unstoppable. He believes in himself and that belief is spirit bomb strong. Despite his opponents only seeing the presentation as being presented, they cannot see his drive, his hunger, his passion. And then they develop the theory that Goku is the underdog. Despite that Goku has never willfully shaken the hand of defeat, but he has lost so many times to get back up and come back stronger, faster, badder, and meaner with an amazing passion drive and hunger recycling pain into fuel recycling defeat into exactly what's needed to move mountains recycling impossible dreams into real life encounters we are similar to the great super saiyans as we too can do the impossible as we too can grow big to extremely oversized to colossal. As we too can go up levels glowing, creating our anything, overcoming any obstacles. The Goku method is simple. Number one, Goku never gives up. Number two, Goku believes in himself more than anyone else. Number three, Goku has a never ending supply of willpower, competitive drive, and undying passion. We are equal in our approach for greatness. So go Super Saiyan and go show the universe what you can do. Go show the world exactly what you are. Go show your true opponent exactly who you are. The definition of incredible. The epitome of the best you.